Hello, teacher. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Ready for action. Okay. Ready for action. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's begin. Only, it's only you right now, okay? Let's begin. Yeah. <clears throat> Buenas noches. Este es el Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. Modalidad online. Beginner 3. Welcome to your English class. Today is Monday, September the 12th. This is class 6. Industry vocabulary. This is a general objective. This is a specific objective. Students will exchange vocabulary about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. Students will be able to use industry vocabulary to talk about their company's expertise, industrial classifications, and where it operates. In the agenda, we have <clears throat> socializing, vocabulary, industry. Maybe you remember I sent to you uh, some lists, I don't remember how many, <laughs> but several lists. Uh, so, and then we're going to be working on discussion, socializing, and then we're going to describe the services of the company. We'll have the presentation, okay? In the warm up, in the warm up, we're going to have socializing. The purpose is to discuss socializing. Okay, first, let's call roll. Let's see who is here and who isn't here. Today is Monday the 12th, Monday the 12th, Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Ana Maria Portillo. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Andrea Maria Cruz. Dilcia Yamilet Hernández. Emma Gloria Martínez. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excelente señorita, welcome on board. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jorge, no. Jose Ezequiel Guzmán. Jose, Jose Ezequiel, no. Juan Jose Herrera. Juan Jose Herrera, not here yet. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Kenia, congratulations. I saw the platform you have completed. Thank you, teacher. Almost everything, that's nice. Excellent. Lady Xiomara Chicas. No lady, okay. Okay, lady is connected, right? So let's put here, lady is present. Okay, Maritza Yanir Hernandez. Present teacher. Maritza, okay, excellent. Paola Stephanie Mejia. 
Okay, Paola, raise your hand. Okay, nice, Paola. Welcome on board. Raquel Abigail Garcia. Raquel Abigail? No. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Okay. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excellent. Nice. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. No Guadalupe, right? No Guadalupe. Okay. No Guadalupe. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Congratulations, Mauricio. I saw that you have completed <laughs> almost everything. Thank there. you. Yeah, Thank you. Right. Yes. Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Jonathan, no. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So, my dear ones, let's begin. <clears throat> the purpose is to discuss socializing. What activities do people use to socialize? What activities do people use to socialize? How do people socialize? Yes, my dear ones. JJ says, what? who is JJ? I don't know. JJ. I remember Tarry Town and JJ. But then Juan Jose, Juan Jose Herrera, teacher. Excellent, Juan Jose. I saw JJ and I say, JJ, <laughs> el avioncito. So Joe. Okay, so I remember only that. <laughs> okay. And also JJ Benitez. You remember JJ Benitez? No, he's a writer of uh, some terrible books like Caballos de Troya, something like that is the name of the, the name of the book. Okay, let's see. Uh, so in the chat, I also have two messages. Ah, uh, Juan Jose. Excellent, Juan Jose. I think that I, no, I didn't put you present. I don't remember. But later I'm going to put you present. Okay. So, what do people use to socialize? Ideas. What are some means? What are some ways to socialize? What are some elements people use to socialize? Ask about some activities, names, relatives. Mm -hmm. Some activities, what activities do people use? Parties, carnivals, festivals, right? Parties, Meeting. festivals, meetings. Carnivals, meetings. What else? Some people say seminars. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes some seminars, people socialize in seminars. Okay. What others? Congress. 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 Congresses, yes. There are some congresses where people socialize. What else? Maybe trips out of the office, they hire a bus, and then all of the people get on the bus and they go somewhere and they socialize. They play sports, they sing karaoke, they eat uh, pupusas, or they eat yuca. <laughs> okay. 
Uh -huh, they go with their children too. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so what else? What other activities are used to socialize? Soccer games? Yes, right. Yeah. Some people play in the United States, what they play is golf. Okay, but um, sometimes basketball or American football. Birthdays? Ah, to, they, they use birthdays, right? The employees' birthdays to have an excuse for a party. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Absolutely. All right, here are some of the questions. Okay, <clears throat> these are some of the words, some of, this is some of the vocabulary people use uh, for socializing. Ask someone over. Teacher, what is ask someone over? If you ask someone over, you invite a person to your house or apartment. My roommates and I are going to ask our English teacher over for lunch. Wow, okay. Teacher, you dream in colors. <laughs> you dream in colors. Now, this is, don't worry, this is only an example. Okay, some people say uh, we're going to invite Maria over for dinner. Okay, what's the meaning? Come to my house for dinner, okay? Now, the other one, ask someone out. Ask someone out is usually a boy asks a girl on a romantic encounter, right? If you ask someone out, you invite a person to go out for a romantic encounter, like go to the cinema, go to dinner, go to a party, okay? So, Bill asked me out, but I turned him down, means I said no. He's just not my type, said the girl. Imagine, poor Bill. Ah, okay, she said no, right? Okay, well, it's not an obligation for a girl to say yes. It's not an obligation. If the girl doesn't like the boy, the girl says no. Right? So ask someone out. Come over. Come over. Come over is H. Come over. Come over. Come here. Right? Come here. When a person comes over, they arrive at your house or apartment. Why don't you come over to my place after class? We can work on the project together. And say, okay, good. Bring over. What's bring over? Bring some pizza, ice cream, pupusa. And the boy said, no teacher, a six pack. Mm -hmm. um, a six pack, no, a barilit, a barilit. <laughs> okay. So then, now, uh, if, you get, if you get to drink together, you don't study or you don't work. Okay. So the best is something nice, right? Maybe even soda is okay, even not so idea. Okay, so bring over. To bring something over is to bring an object to the other person's house or apartment. I'll bring over my DVD collection so that we can watch some movies. I teach you, you're talking about past tense. Now you don't have to bring anything, only the computer, and you can watch. Netflix, and you have a wide selection of movies. It's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, have uh, someone over. If you have someone over, it means that you, someone is a guest in your house. So, have over is the general word for having people visit your house or apartment. It means that you invite a person to eat in your house, to spend time with you in your house. So you have the person over, okay? 
Now, we're having about 15 people over for Thanksgiving dinner. Say, wow, 15 people. Okay. So, pop in. Pop in is boom, just to show up. Pop in. Get to your house, no invitation. <laughs> they crash mm -hmm. into your house. Pirata. Pop, pop in. Pop. They appear in your house. Pop in. Or stop in. Boom, they enter your house. Hey, hello, how are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? Welcome to my house. Come in. <laughs> okay. No invitation. Only mm -hmm. enter. Okay. Stop in. Stop by. Okay. Hey, I was in the neighborhood. I came to say hello. Hello. Okay, like, hey, come in, come in, come in. You want some soda? Do you like something to drink? Sit down. Come on, sit down. Relax. I'll get you something to drink. That is stop by. These phrases and verbs mean to enter a place for a short period of time. Short. One hour, two hour. Salululu. Right? I just stopped by to say hi. I need to go in, say, I need to go in about, I need to go in about 10 minutes. I'm going to be here with you only for 10 minutes. Then, salululu. Okay. That's the idea. Drop in. Drop in means to visit unexpectedly. So, no invitation. My sister always drops in while I'm in the middle of doing something important. I wish she'd call me before she came over. Okay, drop in. Then the other one, drop someone off. Okay, means you get someone from one place and you take the person to another place. Drop off is when you take somebody in your car and then leave them in another place. I'm going to drop my husband off at the airport. He's traveling to London. How nice. Okay, how nice. Okay, second batch or third batch. Pick someone up. Where are you? Uh, I'm at the airport. Okay, don't worry. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I will go to the airport and bring you to my house. Okay, Bring you to the house. Pick you up. Pick up is the opposite of drop off. If you pick someone up, you go and drive to a place and someone gets into your car. Remember that you drop someone off at a place and you pick someone up from a place. The person is at the airport and you pick the person up at the airport. My husband returns from London on Thursday. I'll pick him up from the airport around noon, about 12 p.m. around noon. Meet up with, to meet up with someone is to get together at a particular time and place. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to meet up with Sylvia. We're going to look at some nice dresses in this and this place. Okay, so it's an idea. I'm going to meet up with some friends at the bar at 8.30. Mm, okay, at 8.30. Take a rain check, the last one. Take a rain check. Take a rain check, you say, no, sorry. Hey, come to lunch to, to my house. And you say, mm -mm, no, sorry, I can't, I have to study. Can I take a rain check? I say, can I take a rain check means, can we do this some other time? Okay, I'll take a rain check is a response to a social social invitation you can't go to, but you hope the person asks you again in the future. We're going to play basketball tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to join us? I'll have to take a rain check. 
My boyfriend and I are going to see a concert, maybe another time, says the girl. Okay, so these are some examples of words for socializing, vocabulary for socializing. Okay, now we're going to discuss these questions before you fall asleep, right? And then I know that some of you are tired, you're coming from work and you're tired. So you're going to be talking about this. What's this? What is, what kind of event is this? A concert. Concert. Strumming my face with his finger. Yeah, okay, so this is a concert, singing, okay? So, well, you have, you have the presentation so you can use that presentation to discuss these questions. What socializing? What type, types of social events are there? What are the most common? Why do people socialize? Why do people socialize at work? How do people socialize at work? What are the benefits of socializing? Okay, let's go to the groups. See how many people we are, 20. Okay, so it means we are 19. I'm going to make five groups. Permissions. Permissions. Okay. Permissions have been given. I have a message. Okay. Pao cannot speak. She says, Ti, Che, Buen, Naas, No, Ches, Men, Buen. Oh, oh, ah, fun, pica. Okay. So she's sick of the throat. Okay. Sorry, Pao. Sorry. But don't worry. If you cannot speak, you can listen. Okay. Here we go. I don't know if in your WhatsApp you have only two line two. Okay, maybe one syllable, another syllable, another syllable, another syllable in the chat. Mine is like this, two syllables, two syllables, two syllables, two syllables. So it's funny. Okay, here we go. Breakout rooms, five. Okay, they are opening, please join. Okay, so we have only Raquel Segura. Wow, Raquel Segura is here, nice. And the other one is, well, only Raquel. So let's go. Okay. Uh, the concept, the what socialization? Aquí no sé cómo. Socializing. Socializing. Social, 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 Yes, it is. What? What, what do you? Yo creo que tenemos que responder esas preguntas. La de what social scene, what size of show social. Eso a partir de de las de los que estuvimos viendo de, de las palabras como 
eh, con over, bring over. Ajá. Okay. Y, y, y el inicio que, como que entendemos por socializar. Uh -huh. Así que a ver quién es el valiente. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Bueno. Emma, tell me what socializing. Eh, en español <ríe> es como bueno. interactuar uh -huh. o con las demás personas pero como convivir bueno. pues con las demás personas en un grupo de personas <ríe> interact interact with other people sí eso <ríe> Okay. Uh, what socializing, uh, Jorge? Socializing. Socializing. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. It's, it's for example when the when the people meeting and to uh, so many activities. Uh, for example. Um, uh birthdays celebrations or social meetings um meeting works um i don't know when true or more uh, people uh, talking about some things yeah uh, with with friends with family uh, I don't know. Okay. Thanks. And the next family como family shower. Okay, bautismo. Casamiento, wedding. Seminar. Meetings, reuniones. ¿Cómo se dirá bautizos en inglés? Bautis. Bautis. Así lo encontré. Ah, Así lo encontré. Baptism. Bautism. Bautism. Party. First communion. First communion, okay. maybe. Maybe first communion. Maybe. First communion. Thank you. Un matrimonio. Wedding. Casamiento. Wedding. Wedding. Thank you. Welcome. Festivities or festivals? Festivities, festivals, Fest carnivals. Festivals. Carnival. Yes. Okay. Um, number three, what are the most common? Mm. For me, wedding and um, birthday. For me, business and family event. Reunion de negocio o eventos familiares. Yeah. Birthday. Worry is the memory and a meeting. All right. Number four. Why do people so socialize? Mm. <laughs> Porque las personas socializan, creo que. Why do people socialize? Mm. Why do people socialize? For a little life, for example. 
the, the convivence for convivence. For sharing. Mm -hmm. For sharing. Um, I see by human nature. Es nuestra naturaleza. Mm -hmm. Human's nature. Okay. In the last years, young people don't have that human nature. They socialize only online, but face to face, they don't know what to do. Young people okay. talking about children, the new gen, the younger generation. Okay. Okay. Number six, how do people socialize at work? Socialize at work. Maritza, Jose Ezequiel, Paola, Raquel, finished? Teacher, yo acabo de entrar al, al grupo, a la clase y recientemente hizo los grupos, recientemente había entrado, entonces no, no sé de qué trataba. Uh -huh. ¿En Maritza? Okay, so this is a dead group. I'm going to move you to another group. RS to everyone, boy de camino aún. Okay. Aries, who is Aries? Aries, okay. Raquel Segura, me. Okay. <laughs> okay, Raquel is, okay, very good, nice. Okay. No problem, Raquel. I'm going to, I'm going to move Jose Ezequiel to another group, okay? Okay. Socializing is sharing and joy with good people. En Andrea. Andrea. Vaya, number two. What types of social events event are there? Este, Raquel. Yo... Yo puse birthdays, 
Wendings. Eh, creo que solo eso. En you, Sandra. Beer day, parties, eh, play day. Este, yo agregaría los conciertos. Ok. Entonces, la primera pregunta para ti sería, what, ¿qué es, eh, what socializa? Eh? O sea, ¿qué es socializar para? Para mí. Para tu, para tu persona. Ah, no sé, como una forma de, de ser amistad, no sé, algo así. Porque en la fotografía que estás viendo es una forma de socializar, ¿verdad? Es una... El concierto. When, when you go to the party. Ok. En este momento también estamos socializando. <ríe> Muy Ajá. bien. Exacto, excelente. Exacto. ¿Quién dijo eso? Mm, yo. Es lo que dice Dilcia. ¿Quién es yo? Dilcia. Hey, Dilcia. Ah, okay. Qué bueno. Yo, Excelente. Es que estaba comiendo jocotes y no podía estar así comiendo <risa> con la planta porque le iba a dar envidia. Ok. <risa> Ay, la cámara. <risa> Pero muy, muy buena observación de Dilcia. Sí. Es correcto. Vale, ahí, ahí tenemos claro, pues, porque ahorita nos estamos conociendo durante este curso, ¿va? Así es. Eh. Yeah, ok. Y nos estamos conociendo. Ok. Así es, Estamos no aprendiendo uno de otro. Eso es una socializa, social, socializing. 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 Así es, but teacher, socializing. Social, social, social. Socializing. Ahora la, seg la segunda pregunta, Ezequiel. What type of socializing have been out there? Many, many types of social events. Uh -huh. uh, for example, on Thursday, uh, no sé cómo se dice una, una carneada, una, una grill, <laughs> una parrillada. Una, eh. A grill, uh -huh. a barbecue. Grilled. Barbecue. Oh, una barbecue, sí, uh -huh. con otras personas. Eh, también. O oh, social events. Mm. So this, this question is, how do people socialize at work? ¿Cómo, cómo socializamos en el trabajo? Uh -huh. as, as for example, no, I don't know, in the, the work meeting are, are a form. And Well, it depends because when you uh, have a co-workers and we are a friendly, you can go uh, to different uh, uh, places mm -hmm. or I don't know, uh, this question is only in the workplace. In the workplace, uh, uh, for example, in, in my work, um, we have a, a birthday meeting when, uh, when um, co-workers is the um, birthday day, uh, we have a lunch or we eat, eat a cake or we try to celebrate this day. Okay. Okay, and you, Emma? Emma or Andrea? Uh... I think when I take a break and okay. 
when uh, celebrate birthday? Okay. And Good. Uh, take a yes. lunch. For a good time. And you, Andrea? Sí, um, celebrate birthday day. Um, have a lunch. Um, Valentine days. Este me de la independencia. <laughs> ok. Ok. Ok, the next question. What are the benefits of socializing? Socializate. Andrea. Pues creo que en español. <laughs> <laughs> Una buena convivencia y... In English. Remember, we are practicing English. We're learning English. In English, please. How, teacher, how do you say... Um, buenas relaciones? Good relationship. Okay. Good relationship. Uh, okay. You... You don't have to do it perfectly. Only worse, worse, worse but in English. Why? If we practice Spanish, what happens? Our Spanish improves. In English, does it improve? No. Nope. English improves when we practice English. Okay. So you don't have to say complicated things, simple things. Okay, for example, uh, you say celebrate together, spend time together, be together. Okay, simple things, right? And you try to say it in English. Or you ask teacher, how do you say pasar tiempo juntos? Spend time together. Spend time together. And then no problem, little by little, okay? Okay, but, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. And now tell me, Andrea and Jorge, or Ya terminamos, teacher. Yeah, I noticed. Okay. I was checking you out.
conversation. Practice this conversation. Okay, we are 17 out. Two people are missing. All right, let's begin. Okay. Say over here. Hi, Sylvia. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I've got to study. Why? I want to take you to a movie, but I see you'll be busy. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I take a rain check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. At Calvin's? What's he celebrating? Honestly, I don't know. But there will be a party. Wanna come? Sure, why not? I've been studying all week and I need to relax. Okay, okay then. I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. What do you say? I'll be ready. See you then, bye. Bye for now. Hi, Sylvia. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I've got to study. Why? I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you'll be busy. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I take a rain check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. At Calvin's? What's he celebrating? Honestly, I don't know. But there will be a party. Want to come? Sure, why not? I've been studying all week. And I need to relax. Okay, then. I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. What do you say? I'll be ready. See you then. Bye. Bye, Bye for now. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I've got to study. I've got to study. Why? I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you'll be busy. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I take a rain check? Can I take a rain check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. At Calvin's? What's he celebrating? Honestly, I don't know. But there will be a party. Want to come? Sure, why not? I've been studying all week and I need to relax. Okay then, I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. What do you say? I'll be ready. See you then. Bye. Bye for now. Okay, so questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah. No termino de entender la palabra rain, rain check, como la traducción, algo similar a, 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 a español. No termino de entenderla. Okay. If you translate it literally, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> it's an idiomatic expression. Okay. It has a special meaning. What's a special meaning? Um, I cannot today, but please give me a second opportunity. Okay. Next time, right? Next time. So can I take a rain check? Means I cannot this time. Can I get a second opportunity? Okay. 
And we say, yes, sure, no problem. Okay. Thanks, teacher. As we say, um, can I take a rain check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. Calvin's? What are you celebrating? Honestly, I don't know. But there will be a party. Want to come? Sure, why not? Yes? Okay, so let me practice. Questions? Okay, let's go to practice. Groups are opening. Okay. Andrea Maria. You, Somni. Esther. Okay. Hi, Silvia. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I go to the study. Why? I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you'll be busy. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I take a Ryan check? Sure. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Juanjo. Quizás tuvo problemas porque no está acá. Sí. Sorry, I moved him to group three. Necesitamos la pantalla. Lo voy a compartir yo. Va. Eh, at group three, there are only two people. Miralda and Lady. Okay, no problem, teacher. Okay, se ¿No quieren ver? Sí, sí, se ve. Yes. Okay, take care. Okay. You start. Okay. Uh, wait a moment. Hi, Morning. Silvia. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I got to the study. Why? I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you'll see busy. Yeah. It's too bad. Can I take a rain to check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. At Calvin? What he celebrating? Honestly, I don't know, but there will be a party. Want to come? Sure, why not? I've been studying at week. And I need to relax. Okay, then I pick you up at 7 p.m. What do you say? Lo siento. Voy a quitar la cámara porque creo que eso es lo que se me hace que me se me desconecte. Okay, no hay problema. Ajá, porque tengo baja señal. Uh, pero nos quedamos en honestly. Honestly. Uh -huh. honestly. I don't know, but there will be a party. What to come? Sure. To come. Mm -hmm. Sure. Why not? If being starting all week and I need to relax. Okay. Then I will pick you up 
at 7 p.m. What do you say? I'll be ready. See you then. Bye. Bye for now. Ok. Bueno, si quieres seguimos. Andrea. Ok. Dele, inicie usted. Hi Silvia. What are you doing tonight? Tonight? I go to the studio. Why? I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you in business. Yeah, yeah, I too bad. Can I take a rain check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. At Calvin's? What he's celebrating? Honestly, I don't know, but there will be a party one what are you doing tonight? Tonight, I go to study. Why? I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you will be busy. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I take a rain check? Sure. How about next Saturday? There's a party over at Calvin's. At Calvin's? What's his celebration? Honestly, I don't know, but there will be a party. Want to come? Sure, why not? I've been studying all week and I need to relax. Okay, then I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. What do you say? He'll be ready. See you then. Bye. Bye for now. Okay. Y ahora cómo lo distribuimos. <ríe> y tú fuiste. Marisa. No, Marisa, yo no veo ninguna Marisa. Yo no, no veo ninguna. Ah, Michelle segura. Michelle segura no puede. No, no contesta. Tampoco. Sí, ok, si no, ayudémosle nosotros. Si gusta Ana, usted con ella. Vaya. Vaya. Empezar. Uh, empezar. Sí. Uh, hi, yeah. Silvia. What are you doing tonight? Tonight, I'd be good to study why. I wanted to take you to a movie, but I see you'll be busy. Busy. Yeah, it's too bad. Can I take a rain check? Rain check. Um, rain check. Rain check. Shake is batido. Shake. A okay. rain shake is un batido de lluvia. So, is rain, rain check? Rain check. Rain check. Rain check. Rain check. Rain check. Rain check. Okay. okay, sure. How about next Saturday? There is a party over at Kelvin's. At Kelvin's? What is celebrating? Celebrating. Honestly, honestly, I don't know, but they with be a party want to come sure why not i've been studying all week and i need to relax okay then i pick you up at 7 p.m what do you say I'll be ready. See you then, bye. Bye for now. Okay, ahora si gustan, 
Yo soy Silvia y es quien me ayuda con Sony. <coughs> yo. Ok. No, pero yo ya dije, yo ya dije Sony. There will be a party. What to call? Sure, why not? I've been studying all week. I need to relax. Okay, then. I'll pick you. I, I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. What do you say? I'll be ready. See you then. Bye. Bye for some. Bye. La volvemos a decir. Ay, ve. La llevamos como 20. No morir. Ok. Ya no, teacher. O oh, sí. Digamos. Okay, now that everybody is here, is out, let's discuss the questions. We have the first, where does Sonny want to go? At the movie. To the movie. the movie. He wants to go to the movies. Uh -huh. What excuse does Sylvia make for not going? What is the excuse? Take the rain. I study. I have to study. I have to study, she says. Mm -hmm. Where does she agree to go with him? Where does she accept to go? To Calvin's party. To Calvin's party, okay. When are they going? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Seven o'clock. Okay. What is it gonna be? At Calvin's, right? At Calvin's house. What time will they meet? At 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Excellent. All right. We're going to go to attendance. Attendance. Abigail Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Ana Maria Portillo Marquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Present teacher. Good. Nice. Very good. Andrea Maria Cruz. Dilcia Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Emma Gloria Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Gabriela Beatriz. Okay. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. José Ezequiel Guzmán. Here teacher. Excellent, nice. Juan José Herrera. Presente, teacher. Excellent, my friend. Nice, very good. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Yes, very good, nice. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present, teacher. Excellent, very good. Okay, Maritza Yanira Hernández. Present, teacher. 
Excellent. Paola Stephanie Mejia. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Afónica, ya, yeah, I remember. Ok. Raquel Abigail García. Present. Excellent. Nice. Ok. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Ra Raquel Segura. Escribí en el chat. Ajá. Ok. What happens, Raquel? Why the chat? ¿Por qué el chat? Ah, ok. Wow, voy en camino. Ok, okay. no problem. It's ok. Um, let's see. So she's present. Ok. Sí. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. Guadalupe del Carmen. We don't know her, right? Ok, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Presente, Cher. Excellent, nice. Y Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Present. Excellent, nice. Someone in the chat. Ok, no problem, Raquel, no problem. Ok, so, Andrea María, Gabriela Moreno, en Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. So, no, no Silva, no Cruz, and no Moreno. Okay. So, three people. Well, it's okay. No problem. So, to all of you, thank you for being present and for being on time. Okay. Let's continue. Pre-task, vocabulary, industry. Okay. These are some types of industries. Here are the English names for major industries, trades and professions. Teacher, what are trades? Ocupaciones. You remember, an occupation is an activity that you do to eat, right? A profession you study at the university. So if you are a doctor, an engineer, or a certified mechanic, you studied at the university, etc. that is a profession. If you are a mechanic that you learn, no digo malo, no, good mechanic, but not at the university, informally, you learn informally, that is a trade, es ocupación. Okay, sometimes the profession is not the occupation. Sometimes the occupation is not a profession. Okay, teacher, I didn't understand. Okay, I have friends that are doctors. They, are, they graduated from university, but they don't, they don't work at a hospital. They are teachers. They teach medicine at the University of El Salvador. They teach medicine at the univer at the Evangelica, or they teach medicine at another university. So they don't, they are doctors, but their occupation is teacher, okay? Teacher, so different things. Okay, accountancy. Accountancy, advertising, advertising, agriculture, agriculture, banking, banking, broadcasting, teacher of broadcasting, transmitting, right? Broadcasting, the building trade, construction, construction, 
the chemical industry, chemical industry, the civil service, civil service, okay? Computing, the construction industry, the drinks industry, teacher construction and building trade, okay? Construction industry, build materials for construction. And the building trade uses the material to build, okay? The drinks industry, drinks industry. So the fizzy drinks, et cetera, Gatorade. <laughs> okay, engineering. The entertainment industry, actors, musicians, painters, etc., for entertainment. Farming, cows, okay. Milking cows, feeding the animals, okay, for food. So farming, finance. Not farming is not only cows and all of that. Fish too. Farms, fish farms, okay. Peces, okay, the peces, farms. So financial services, banks, etc. The fishing industry, healthcare, hotel and catering. Hotel is the room, catering is the food. Human resources, insurance, Information technology, the legal profession means lawyers, etc. Local government, manufacturing means factories, manufacturing, marketing, selling, the medical profession, doctors, nurses, etc. Mining, mineros, right? Mining. The motor industry, they build uh, fixed engines, cars, et cetera, build parts, parts uh, for cars. The newspaper industry, the oil industry, the pharmaceutical industry. PR means public relations, publishing, the retail trade, each a retail, yes, I buy, and I sell. So, for example, I buy from Mauricio and then I sell um, Rebecca, for example. I sell it to Rebecca. I say, Mauricio, how much the dozen? And he says, ah, $20, okay? $20, 12 items. And Rebecca asked me, how much is one? And I say, um, one, three dollars, three dollars, very expensive. And I say, yes, three dollars. <laughs> okay. So from one dozen, I make thirty-six dollars, and I paid twenty dollars. Right, retail, retail trade, sales, sales, ventas, sales. The shipping industry, transportation, Hugo, um, what others? Uber, <laughs> well, Uber is trans, but there is one that is Uber for food, right? Okay, so shipping industry, teaching, telecommunications, television, the travel industry. Question, what's your industry? What's your industry? Is your industry here? Or is it here? Where is your industry? Okay, we're going to work on that, figure it out. Socializing, we come back to socializing and we're going to work on this. Okay, task preparation, socializing. To discuss socializing 
in the company, okay? Does your company organize any of these? Conferences, seminars, team building events, trade shows, expos, executive retreats, business, business dinners, corporate dinners, corporate golf days, product lunches, shareholder board meetings, corporate board meetings, year-end functions. Questions about this? How do many teachers retreat? Ah, retreat. 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 Retiro lo dicho, no, no, no the retreat, no. So there are some spiritual retreats, no, but these are retreats for, for employees. Workers retreat. Okay, okay thank you. Mm -hmm. So they say like retreats. Se puede utilizar también cuando hablamos de retiros religiosos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spiritual, spiritual retreat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Shareholder, teacher. Shareholders, okay. Shareholders are, okay, the owners of the company. Los dueños de la compañía. Mm. La compañía está dividida en pedacitos. Y accionista, como más o menos. Más o menos. Accionista. Y los, los accionistas compran los pedacitos. Uh -huh. Ya tienen un 30%, 20%. Yeah. Ok. Share Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. Another one? Another question? So, ok. Mm. Uh, does your company organize any of these events? In my job, they organize seminars. They organize... Hmm, seminars. <laughs> Only seminars in my, in my job, they organize seminars on. In your company, what do they organize? Ah, in my, they, they organize conferences and okay. seminars. seminars. Only. Company, I mean, conferences and seminars. Teacher, podrían ser también como capacitaciones, los seminars. Seminars son capacitaciones. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes. They repeat, 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 repeat the same thing. Repiten y repiten y repiten el mismo tema. Parte de la pedagogía. En la repetición está la seguridad. Okay. So, seminars, conferences. In your company, what do they organize? Do they organize product launches? Teacher. Yes. Kickoff is like a year begin function. Kickoff, yes. Yes. Kickoff, okay. An example. En el, par en el partido, there is a soccer game. La primera patadita. That is the kickoff. El arranque del partido. So the kickoff is at the beginning of the year. Yes. Kickoff. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, what does your company organize? Teacher, eh, eh, cuando los hay hoy en día específico en mi en mi compañía, uh -huh. en que le dan oportunidad a los emprendedores a, a ir a vender los productos que ellos ¿Me? hacen, estaría dentro de los productos launch. Probably trade shows or expos. Ajá, exposiciones y expos son exposición de productos y cuestiones así. Y yeah. trade shows. Ajá. Ok. Podría ser. Yeah. 
product launch es el lanzamiento de nuevos productos. Mm. Product launches. Ajá. Ok, gracias. Yes, no problem. And here in functions, they have a party, cocktail, cheese and wine, cheese and wine, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, dinners. Manager, aha, uh -huh, invites manager, aha, uh -huh, to have dinner. The rest of the employees? No. Okay. Pollitos. <laughs> Only in the Christmas. A Christmas, ah, yeah. There is a celebration for Christmas, right? Christmas celebration. That yeah. is year end functions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they don't celebrate. They don't organize this. Let's move on. Okay. Discuss these questions. What event does your company organize? My company? Seminars, conferences. Your company? The same. The yes. Same. The same, right? Same. Okay. How often does it organize that type of events? Seminars and conference. Usually every month. One conference every four years. But seminar, one seminar every month. About 12 seminars in a year. Imagine. Teacher. Yes. Eh, tengo una pregunta. Yes, Michelle. Uh -huh. eh, give me. Shareholder is. Accionista. Okay. En, en derecho existe una figura que se llama credenciales. Yes, credential. Okay. Eh, y en la pregunta, how often does it organize that type of events? Uh -huh. eh, las credenciales, y quiero decir, las credenciales se vencen cada tres años. Legalmente se vencen cada tres años. Más o menos, ¿cómo se puede decir? Okay, they expire. Credentials expire every three years. Okay. Expire. Okay. Y se toma esta como una, eh, no como un evento, como un de celebrating, sino como un plazo legal. Aún así se usa esta palabra share. Permítame. Share. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um, ok, shareholder, no sé de leyes, perdón, no sé de leyes, pero en cuanto al, al uso de shareholder, es que usted compra partes de la compañía y usted tiene un porcentaje de la compañía que usted ha comprado. Tiene por lo menos un 30%, un 10%, un 20%, aún un 50%, ¿verdad? De la compañía. Entonces usted tiene acciones de la compañía comprados. Entonces usted es un accionista de la compañía. Ese es un stock. Ok, show, I mean, holder. Yes. Ok, thanks teacher. Ajá, ¿y usted cómo encontró la palabra? Share, no. Shareholders. Va. Shareholder, eh, eh, está bien, pero lo, lo, lo se ve como una activity o como una eh, un evento como para socializar, ¿verdad? Sí, en el caso de, en el caso de shareholder meeting es para darle reporte 
de las ganancias, okay. de los beneficios que logró el accionista en la compañía, okay. ¿verdad? Y darle su parte. Okay. Si con esa parte quiere comprar más acciones, ok. Pero okay. Si, quiere, si quiere dejarlo en la caja para que siga produciendo, ok. Pero si lo quiere sacar, está en su derecho. ¿okay? Porque de él. Okay. Eso es un shareholder. En el caso de las credenciales, no les sabría explicar porque no sé en realidad cómo funciona eso. Eh, y qué credenciales son. Si son credenciales de abogado, no sé si se refiere a la identificación y el, mm. y el número de junta de abogado. No sé, no sé. ¿A qué se refiere usted con eso? Eh, a ver, es como un documento que contiene la organización de una sociedad. ¿Quién es el presidente? ¿Quién es el vicepresidente? Ajá. ¿Quién tiene las acciones? Entonces es como la cabeza de una compañía. Es Eso. como, la, como, la, como el, el, digamos, la estructura. De, sí. El documento que describe la figura de la estructura de la compañía. Ajá, más o menos así. Ah. Eso es una credencial. Sí, eso es una credencial. Ajá. Okay. Sí, solo que en eso no, que no entraría dentro de shareholders. Ok. Yeah. Ok, por lo menos hasta donde yo tengo entendido. Ok, same feature. Perdón si entra y yo creo que no, ¿verdad? Ajá. Somebody, ah, yo levanté la mano. O alguien me levantó la mano. <risa> wow. Yo no, no levanté la mano, no toqué nada para levantar la mano. Se levantó solita. Ey, brujería, ¿verdad? Ey, veamos. Reacciones, reactions. Quité, bajemos la mano porque yo no la quiero tener arriba. Ok. Reactions. Lower hand. Ok. Ajá. Ok, my friend. Any other question? No, no, no more questions. No okay. more questions. So, do you often attend seminars? Teacher, what is attend seminars? Attend is, uh, is asistir, estar presente. Do you often attend seminars? Do you go to seminars? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it easy for you to socialize at seminars? When I go to seminars, I sit next to my favorite friends. Two, three favorite friends. One at my right, one at my left. And maybe another. I talk to them. To the others, no. Only to my friends. <laughs> so, is that socializing? Yes. Yes. Limited, but yes. And do you? You talk to your friends, right? Do I talk to new people? Nope. Hey, you are Polanito. And they say, hi, yes, I am. Video. I know you. Yes. I know you too. Only. Imagine. So, socialize. It's difficult to socialize at seminar. The presenter says, hey, quiet. <laughs> Don't talk, he says. So socialize at seminars, maybe not. Okay, how, how do you usually break the ice? I never break the ice. I don't know you, I don't talk to you. Imagine, so I'm shy, so I'm timid. No lo conozco, no le hablo. I don't know you, I don't talk to you. 
If you talk to me, I say hello. Only. So strange. So in you, do you talk to a lot of people at seminars? Or do you talk to two people, three people, four people? Mm -hmm. Insafor da seminarios de inteligencia emocional y ahí los obligan a hacer grupos de trabajo con gente que no conoce. Obligado, sí. <laughs> <laughs> Obligado, sí. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, y que a mí no es que no me guste, no me guste socializar. Y yo hago amigos fácilmente. Ese no es el problema. Mm -hmm. El problema es que en los seminarios yo no los considero que sean para socializar ah no if I go to a party I make friends <laughs> but at a seminar no seminar no seminar is different concept okay. you go to pay attention pay attention take notes and study and learn to talk, you know. So if someone says, hey, look, da, 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 say, ah, hi, and I continue paying attention. My business is paying attention. That's my business. At the seminar, my business is paying attention. I'm studying, not talking. That's me. I don't know. Probably I'm wrong. But if you go to study, I go to university, I sit down, I listen. If someone is talking, I say, not now, not now. Late, after class. Why? Because I'm paying attention. Maybe I'm wrong. But I like to see what the teacher is saying. That's my business, paying attention. Okay? So probably seminars are not for social life. Maybe. It depends on the seminar. It depends on the topics. But the topics at my seminars are academic. So I pay attention. If the topics are not academic, they are for other things, maybe. Maybe you social. Uh -huh. It's a little different. Okay. Let's see. Dialogue. Practice this conversation with a partner. My name is Ricardo. What's your name? How do you do, Ricardo? I'm Juan. It's nice to meet you. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. What does Inex Inc. do one? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Oh, I see means I understand. Okay, I understand. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branch offices? No, offices, sorry. Inex offices. No, <laughs> okay, Inex offices. No, does Inex have many branch offices? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in this country. And where, it's, where is its headquarters? It's in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I'm Salvadoran. I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, again, my name's Ricardo. What's your name? How do you do, Ricardo? I'm Juan. It's nice to meet you. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. What does Inex Inc. do, Juan? We manufacture cardboard. Teacher, what is cardboard? Carton, right? Carton, cardboard. Cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex 
have many branch offices? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in this country. And where is its headquarters? It's in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I'm Salvadoran. I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main office, its principal offices. Branch, a shop or office representing a large company or organization. Okay, so don't think. Okay, questions about the dialogue? No questions? Okay, headquarters, manufacturing, country, branches, packaging. Okay, main office. Okay, so I see, oh, I see. And I understand, All right? I see. Okay, very good. Now let's practice the conversation with your partner, with our partner. Groups are opening. Please join. Andrea, Ana Maria, Jorge, Paola. Andrea, Amalia. No me ha salido para unirme a mí. Andrea, Amalia, you are in group two, my friend. Está en el grupo dos. Ana Maria Portillo, you are in group three. Okay. That's in XP. One. Mm, we manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. That's in how many branch offices? Yeah, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in this country. And where is Headworker? Headquarter. Headquarters. Headquarters. Uh, it's in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No. I'm Salvadorian, uh, and I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, Jonathan. Hello, okay. Jonathan. Okay, comienzo yo, Jonathan. Comienzo. Bueno. Okay. Uh, my name. Oh, my name is Ricardo. What's your name? How do you do, Ricardo? I am Juan. It's nice to meet you. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. What does Inex Inc. do, Juan? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh. I see, does Inex have a many branch office? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branch in the country. And where is the headquarters? It's in... 
Si gustan, la comparto. Vaya, gracias. Empezamos. Vaya, my name is Ricardo. What's your name? How do you do, Ricardo? I am Juan. It's nice to meet you. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. Why does Inex Inc do Juan? We manufacture cardboard box for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branch office? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branch in the in this country. And where is uh, headquarters? It is it's in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I am Salvadorian and I work here in San Bartolo. For parking companies? Mm. For parking companies. Oh, I see. Does Ignis have many branch offices? Yes, I yes it does. We have three manufacturing branches in this country. And where is where is his water? It is in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I am El Salvador. Um, I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Lo repetimos, lady. Me parece. Wow. Solo una pregunta, esa palabra de packaging, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Packaging, teacher, así es, ¿verdad? Packaging. Ok, packaging. Hola. Hola, hola. No está el teacher. Oh, no, ahí está. Sí. Hola, hola. Hola, se dice packaging. Oh. Ok. Eh, packaging. Packaging. Mm -hmm. Packaging. Packaging. Okay. Eh, my name is Ricardo. What's your name? How do you do, Ricardo? I am Juan. It's nice to meet you. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. What does Inex Inc do? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing brushes in this country. And where is the headquarters? It's in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I am Salvadoran uh, and I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Ahora si quieren hacemos una línea cada una. Tal vez el Buenísimo. tiempo se nos acaba. Comience Raquel. Ok, bye. My name is Ricardo. What your name in Panama? Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I am Salvadorian. And I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Next. 
<risa> Ahorita. Vaya. Eh, Sandra, ¿habías empezado tú? Sí. Voy. Ah, ok. My no, 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 yo era Juan, ahora como... Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. My name is Ricardo. What's your name? How do you do, Ricardo? I'm Juan. It's nice to meet you. I work for Inex Inc. Nice to meet you too. What does Inex Inc. do, Juan? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branch office? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in this country. And where is it headquarters? It's in Panama. Oh, and do you work at the main office in Panama? No, I'm Salvadoran. And I work here in San Bartolo. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Vaya, ahora entonces me toca con Marixa. Ahora tendría que empezar yo. Este, quiero ver. My name is Ricardo. What's your name? Ah, lo veo. Okay, we are 15 people out. I was waiting for other people to come out, but let's see. Okay, true or false? Are these things true or false? Ricardo is Salvadoran. Okay, everything, everybody's out. Okay, Ricardo is Salvadoran. True or false? True. True. Yeah, Ricardo is Salvadoran, we say it's true. Juan works at Inex Inc. True. true. Juan works at Inex Inc. True. Yes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because he says I work for Inex Inc. Inex S, okay. No teacher, Inex S, no, Inex Inc. Okay, Inex says headquarters is in San Bartolo. False. 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 Yeah. False. Where is its headquarters? Panama. 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 One works in Panama. False. True. False. 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 He works in San Bartolo. Uh -huh. Inex Inc. makes shampoo. False. 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 Inex, Inex Inc. makes what? Cardboard boxes for packaging. Cardboard boxes for, uh -huh, for packaging. packaging. Jack's company makes cardboard boxes. False. True. True. Jack's companies? No, teacher. Juan's, false. Juan's false. company. No, no. This is false. 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 Juan's companies? Yes. Jack's company? No. No. Okay. Tasks and services of your company. Okay. We're going to prepare a two minute conversation. No. We're going to get in the groups to talk about what your companies do, okay? Because I ask you, what does your company do? And you didn't say anything. Teacher, we are shy because you are the teacher. Okay. So you will tell your partner, no problem. But first this, the vocabulary. Banks, What's, what industry is the bank? Oh, 
what what industry? Finance. Finance. Uh -huh. Finance. 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 So, soft drinks. What industry? H. H. Beverage. The beverage. H. The beverage. Guide guide tours. Tourism industry. Tourism. Okay. Sí. industry. Carbon packaging packaging industry. Sí. G. 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 Packaging industry. Packaging industry. Packaging industry. Buildings. B. 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 Construction. B. Construction. Company. Construction company. Mobile phones or mobile sí. phones. Sí. Sí. The telecommunication. Sí. Telecommunications in the telecommunications. Yes. Medicine. The pharmaceutical, okay. pharmaceutical industry. J. The, the last pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical company. Okay, excellent. Car com car components, car parts. F. Letter? If. F. 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 Letter? F. Okay. Letter F. The automotive industry. Hair salon services. Ape. A. The beauty and personal A. care industry. Excellent. Okay. Close. C. 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 D. C. D. Textile. D. Textile D. industry. Yeah, textile industry. The textile industry. Okay. Textile. Now we made the we made the the triple triple. Okay, so <laughs> different mm -hmm. colors, but Tripachuca all the same. Okay, so this is what you're going to practice. To simplify, okay, example here. This you will practice in the group. Okay, A, B, what does your company do? We sell agricultural equipment. What does your company do? We sell medicine. What does your company do? We repair equipment. What does your company do? We sell clothes. What does your company do? We manufacture clothing. We fix people's teeth. We repair cars. We organize organize events. Event. We organize events. Okay, bread, okay. We make bread and cakes. Bread and cakes. We cater cater for large companies. Each are cater. Damos la comida, ¿verdad? O sea, llevamos mm -hmm. la comida para compañía grande. So, cater. We cater, cater for large companies. We make and sell fizzy drinks. Fizzy drinks, like uh, Yupi, like, uh, I don't know, La Botellita yeah. Contenta, what was the name? Fruitsy, right? Like Fruitsy, fruitsy like all of those fizzy drinks. We Delipo. make and Deli Pop, my favorite, Deli Pop. Okay, so make and sell pizza, decorate offices, make car parts, and make and sell shoes. Okay, we're going to practice this. What does your company do? Okay, what does your company do? We make uh, bread and cakes. What does your company do? We manufacture clothes. What does your company do? We make car parts, etc. Let's go and practice.
loops are open. Okay. Jonathan, what does your company do, Ezekiel? Um, eso es que hago yo, verdad? Ajá, en tu compañía. Híjole, pues no sé cómo se dice en inglés. <risa> ¿Cuál es la palabra? Pues a ver si sabemos nosotros. Ok, vamos a ver. Lo, excuse me, van a practicar esto. What does your company do? We sell medicine. What does your company do? We repair equipment. Mm -hmm. What does okay. your company do? Toda, entonces. Yes, all of them. Okay. Ah, podemos responder la que queramos. No, todas, tienes que decirla. Okay. Eh... Como quieran el orden, pero todas las practican. Por favor. Okay. What does your company do? What you can? Uh, cell medicine. No, sí. Así va a ser la respuesta. Por ejemplo, conmigo. What does your company do? We manufacture clothing for child. Children clothing, ok. Lo que hago en mi trabajo tendría que ser. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, pero antes vamos a practicar las generalidades. Vamos a practicar todas estas. What does your company do? We repair equipment. What does your company do? We repair cars. What does your company do? We organize events. And later, we're going to practice the particular one. Okay. Yeah. All of them. Comparte entonces la pantalla. Okay, please. Okay. Okay, ya la comparto. Um, it's agriculture, coffee, coffee agriculture, no sé, algo así, okay. ah, es de café. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, solo que ahorita vamos a practicar con todo esto. What does your, com your company do? We sell clothes. What does your company do? We make bread and cakes. What does your company do? Okay, yes. Ok, no es de lo que hacemos ni de lo, de lo que hace la empresa para lo que trabajamos, sino que directamente con esta lista. Ahorita vamos a practicar con esta porque es la generalidad. Ok. Y si tenemos tiempo vamos a ir a lo, a lo específico. <risa> Creo que no vamos a tener tiempo. <risa> ok. I asking you again, what does your company do, lady? Company two number 14. We make and sell shoes. Okay, that's late. Okay. What does your company do, Abigail? We, we sell medicine. Okay. What does your company do, number two? We repair equipment. Okay. What does your company do? The number three. We, we sell clothes. Okay. What does your company do? Number four. We manufacture. Teacher, ya estamos haciendo vida social. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's nice. You finish this part? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we answered the question, teacher. You answer all of the questions. Okay. You finish? Yes, we finish. Teacher. Yes. Como 
¿cómo puedo decir si digo que si quiero decir yo trabajo en un colegio? I work at a school. Ah, ok. Thank I you. Yeah. Eh, colegio es college, es universidad. Mm. University, college. Eh, colegio, la idea de aquí es private school. Una escuela privada. Right. Private school. Mm. Ah, ok. Yes. Yeah. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, ¿y usted solo trabaja para Instafort o trabaja para, eh, o tiene otro trabajo? Trabajo, bueno, trabajo para otro lugar. Para Instafort, eh, solamente en la forma. Mm. Eh, y lo que dijo Mauri, sí, vamos cursos de inteligencia emocional y dentro de ella está, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Socializar en lugares de socialización, estudiar en lugares de estudio. <risa> Esa es la parte de, de la inteligencia. Ah, bueno. Pero sí, sí, sí. Eh, ahorita solamente estoy en, en la parte de inglés con, con esa forma. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. <ríe> Teníamos que tener esa curiosidad. Ah, ok. No, tengo un ratito ya de estar para arriba y para abajo en inglés. Ah, ok. okay. En 1985. Uh -huh. Story time de los de los trabajos del teacher. Chulas, ajá. Escúchame mi nobleza. Okay. Let's finish. Let's go to the main group. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody asks, teacher, si yo digo trabajo en cultivos, we cultivate, cultivate coffee, or we grow coffee. Si, you can say we grow coffee. Grow coffee. En la parte agricultural, we grow coffee. Okay, we plant fruit trees, or we grow um, bananas. We grow bananas, we produce bananas. Apple. Apples. Aunque las apples creo que las traen en barco, de California, de otros lados. Aquí no sé si producen apple. I'm not sure. I'm trying to guess. Por el tipo I de... Think we, yeah. You think so? Yeah. Por, por el tipo yeah. de fruta, no sé si se da en este clima. Ok. okay. En Costa Rica sí vi, vi viñedos. Okay. Pero aquí no sé si la uva se da. Uva se da verde, green. Solo de la verde. Sí. Yeah. Ah, ok. Es más resistente que la moradita. Yes. Ah, ok. Yeah. To be honest about that, I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ok. So, hey, but that is, that's interesting. Ok, let's go to attendance. Let's go to attendance. So, I grow coffee, we plant fruit trees, we grow papaya. Papaya. What do you say, papaya? Papaya is papaya. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. We we grow papayas. Yes, papayas. Watermelon. Watermelons. 
No, pero donde sí me convencerían sería si dijeran we grow sunsas o we grow cincuyas o we grow eh, guanabas o guanábanas. Right? Ya. Yeah. Y sí me convencerían. Ah. Porque eso ya no hay. Por lo menos una guanaba cuesta 12 dólares. Pequeñita la guanaba. Where? Where, uh -huh. Where? Ah, yeah. en el mercado central. Dos, 12 dólares. 12 dólares. Too much money. Oh. No, too much money. Una cincuya sí, me pidieron 8 dólares. Una cincuya. You know cincuyas? No. No conocen las cincuyas. No, I, I, I no. And Sunsa? Yes, I know it. I know no. it. Sunsas. Yeah. Sunsas, sí. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Sunsas. Yes. Mm, delicious sunsas. The smell. Teacher. Y Anona, como dice Anona en inglés. No. no. Those are no. Food from here. Así. Oh, <laughs> Nances, Jocotes, Anona. <laughs> they don't have a, a translation. Mango. Okay. No. Mango. Some people say, yeah, mangoes because they are, they are Chinese. But uh, they say, for example, they say, eh, Nances, ah, yellow cherries. No, yellow cherries. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. no, no, definitely, that is invented. Okay, let's see. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Excellent, nice. Ana Maria Portillo. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Andrea Maria Cruz. Dilcia Yamilet Hernández. Emma Gloria Martínez. Present teacher. Excellent. Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Jose Ezequiel Guzmán. Present. Nice, very good. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. <clears throat> nice. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present teacher. Excellent. Sure. Nice. Maritza Yanira Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Paola Steph Stephanie Mejía. Excellent. Yes. Ronquita. Okay. Raquel Abigail García. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Present. Excellent. Rebeca Guadalupe Aguillón. Present. Nice, very good. Sandra Patricia Ramos. Present. Ok, nice. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Oh. Present teacher. Excellent, good. Guadalupe del Carmen Silva. No Guadalupe. Ok. Mauricio Antonio Vázquez. Present teacher. Velázquez. Oh, sorry, Velázquez. Yes, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Ya le estoy cambiando nombre. <laughs> Imagine. Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. Jonathan. Present. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Tonight, Emma Gloria Martinez stays with me. Okay. The other people, thank you very much for attending. God bless you all. Have a nice evening. Sleep well. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Welcome. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. See you. Okay, Emma, good evening.
¿Cómo le puedo ayudar, Emma? ¿Qué dudas tiene? Hello, teacher. Hello, niñita. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarle? ¿Qué dudas, este... ¿qué dudas tiene? Solo en los primeros temas, en lo de eh, Infinity Verbs, uh -huh. la, la estructura gramatical de las oraciones, eh, como para traducir el significado en español de, del ah, Infinity Verb. Allí vamos mal. Ajá, porque no lo debo relacionar el español con el inglés. ¿Cómo se dice en español y en inglés? Lo que sucede es que no debemos ir traduciendo. Uh -huh. ¿Sabe por qué no? Uh -huh. Vaya, encuentra un gringuito, le pregunta. Él le habla a usted en inglés y, y usted en su cerebrito empieza a traducirlo uh -huh. al español. Y luego lo uh -huh. piensa la respuesta en español. Para cuando lo traduce en inglés para contestarle, el, grico, el gringuito pensó que no le iba a contestar, mejor se fue. Cuando usted ya iba a dar la respuesta, ya no está. Sí. Entonces, eh, para que eso no suceda, la respuesta es inmediata. Entonces, uh -huh. ¿cómo se hace para que sea inmediata? Inmediata. ¿Cómo se hace? Bueno, de una sola vez se, se, se asocia lo que se está viendo con lo que se está haciendo. O sea, una vez usted dice, ah, esto es tal cosa, va, punto, ya, ya sabe que es, ya no lo está pensando, ah, esto lo traduzco así, esto, no, porque entonces se tarda mucho a la hora de traducir. Ahora, pero usted quiere, quiere las primeras, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que yo estaba viendo como la estructura del tú antes del, del verbo, ¿verdad? Para Ajá. Eh, ver la forma base del, del verbo. Pero eh, estaba viendo que en las oraciones el tú sirve para, para que el verbo eh, se diga como en la forma base de que termine en ar, er, ir, pero también sirve para como para anteponer la palabra para, tomar, para. Es que el, lo que es el, la forma en que estuvimos estudiando es Ajá. con propósito. ¿Cuál es el propósito? Ajá, con purpose. Ajá. purpose. Ajá. Entonces, um, she went to the store. To do mm -hmm. what? What for? To buy food. She went to the store to buy bread. Uh -huh. she, she went to the store. Why did she go to the store? She went to the store to buy bread. Okay. To buy bread. The question is, why mm -hmm. did she go to the store? Entonces, en este caso, porque estaba enfocado en un propósito, digamos. Por eso fue ah. de esa manera la explicación. Exactly. So you say, okay. Uh, she went to the store to buy candies. She went to the store to buy candies. Yes. She went to the store. She went to the store to say hello. To say hello to her friend. She went to the store to say hello to her friend. Mm -hmm. Antes, que las chicas se escapaban para ir a ver al novio en la tienda. <laughs> She went to okay. the store to see her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Cuando andaban de escondidas. Okay, so she went to the store to buy boyfriend, to buy a boyfriend, to see a boyfriend, to see her boyfriend, to buy a boyfriend. <laughs> Now, okay. Purpose. Mm -hmm. 
he bought an umbrella. An umbrella, yes. To rain. To cover or to stay out to of rain. the rain. So mm -hmm. to cover from the rain. Mm -hmm. To cover from the rain. He bought a bicycle. A bicycle? He bought a bicycle. Yeah, a bicycle. Why? To do exercise. To do exercise the fun way. Mm -hmm. Okay. He bought a book. Why? To read it. To read it. Mm -hmm. She went jogging. The fuck salió a correr. She went jogging. Yeah. Why? To lose weight. Para perder peso. To lose weight. Jogging es correr, teacher. Correr. Es trotar, exactamente. Trotar. trotar. She okay. went jogging to lose weight. Mm -hmm. He went to school. He went to school. Why? To learn. Study. Study. To study. Mm -hmm. Went to school to study. Okay. Uh -huh. He went to the stadium. She went to the stadium. Why? To see a game. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Propósito. Mm -hmm. Ok. Así usamos el... Para indicar lo que... Para qué lo estamos haciendo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ok. ¿Le queda un poquito más claro? Sí, sí. You have questions? Sí. Um, no, teacher. For the moment. No. Ok. Uh -huh. Pues la dejo para que vaya a hacer la tarea. Y se ok. Va a un poco más temprano. Ok. Thank okay. you for staying. Gracias por quedar. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. Take Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ok. Tomorrow. See you. Good night.